Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and um, we've been given an inequality. It says the inequality 9q minus 3 is less than 0.5 times 18 could be translated as which of the following. Now, you know, I read that inequality one way, but that doesn't mean that's the only way to think of it. And in fact, the way I read it is not in this list here, uh, but we have a few different things going on. First thing I want to look at is this first phrase I see in A. It says nine times the difference between a number Q and three. Um, that right there can be directly translated into math. Nine times, now notice what I want to times nine by. Nine times the difference. Remember what a difference is. A difference is a subtraction problem or the answer to subtraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enclose my subtraction in parentheses so that that 9 can times by that whole subtraction problem. So what is the difference we're looking at? We're looking at the difference between a number Q and 3. A number Q and 3. There's 9 times the difference between a number Q and 3. Notice the parentheses. Now take a look at my inequality here without parentheses. That is not nine times the difference between Q and three. This is just nine times Q. And once you're finished doing the multiplying in this particular instance, then you would subtract three. So definitely A is wrong. Uh, same thing with D. I see that same phrase, nine times the difference between a number Q and three. No, not the same as 9 times q minus 3. So I'm going to uh, rule out those two. Now let's look at b and c. b says 3 less than 9 times a number q. Remember that when you're doing 3 less than something, you need to start with the something. So I'm going to start with the something. The something here is 9 times a number q. But I don't want that. I want 3 less than that, so I'll take 3 away from that. So definitely that matches up with the left-hand side of my inequality. 3 less than 9 times a number Q, and there it is, 9Q minus 3, same thing. And then I see this phrase, is less than. Notice the is with the phrase less than. That's what that verb there is what tells me that it's time for an inequality symbol, is less than. Uh, and so I have my strictly less than symbol right there. Um, and C says the same thing, same beginning here, 3 less than 9 times a number Q is less than. So first half of B and C are the same. What's the only difference here? Well, uh, B says um, it's less than 50% of 18, and C says 5% of 18. Now, you know, you guys think 50 percent of 18 and that is one way to write it but take a look at my problem I don't have a percent sign up here uh, I have a decimal so clearly they've translated a percent into a decimal so over here this one would be 5 percent of 18 now a lot of students struggle can't tell the difference between 50 percent of 18 and 5 percent of 18 let's remember what the word percent means Percent literally means divided by 100. Per means divide. Cent means 100. So if I were to take 50 and percent it divided by 100, what would happen? Well, 50 divided by 100, we love dividing by powers of 10 because all they do is move decimals. I'd end up moving my decimal once, twice. 50% is 0.50 or just... Point 0.5, you are allowed to drop trailing zeros. This is 50%. Be careful, a lot of students think, oh no, it's just 5%. But if I started with five and uh, wanted to percent it, divide by 100, I would have to take the decimal from where it's starting at the back of the number and move it once twice over, that would be 0 0.05 in decimal form. So here it is. Uh, this expression is definitely B, so uh, 3 less than 9 times the number Q is less than 50% of 18, not 5% of 18. B is the correct answer. And this is definitely the end of this series on translating uh, inequalities for a reason. That was complex. That was challenging. I threw a lot of tricks at you that fool a lot of students. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.